If you liked today's video, please hit that subscribe button and check out more of our amazing content here at Yesterday's Entertainment Tomorrow. Hey everyone, I'm Ryan from Yesterday's Entertainment Tomorrow. I want to quickly go over this article here from Fortress of Solitude. Uh, it's a South African website, but this news is all over the internet right now. Strong rumors suggesting David Ayer is indeed getting his Ayer cut too uh, from Suicide Squad. Um, basically what this article is stating is that since the Snyder cut of Zack Snyder's Justice League is coming 2021 to HBO Max that also being considered is a David Ayer Suicide Squad cut. Now, this article, basically, I really like how this article um, puts the information because it's just kind of a little factual. Right here it says, according to various reports, the original film had a lot more Joker footage, which is true, and tied into Zack Snyder's Justice League with the Enchantress, Mother Boxes, and Apocalyptians? I guess those from Apocalypse. The entire story was meant to pave the way for Steppenwolf's arrival on the planet. And what they're saying is basically um, the cut is a lot more put together than the Justice League cut in Zack Snyder's Justice League. Uh, we just really need completed visual effects uh, to be finished. A lot less than probably the $30 million, give or take, that it's going to cost to put together Zack Snyder's Justice League. So... I, usually you could take this kind of thing with a grain of salt, but it seems like AT&T is more and more willing these days to kind of put the Snyderverse back together with these films. And so here's this Twitter post here saying that David Ayer is sitting here saying, you know, standing by, meaning standing by to see his Suicide Squad cut released. Um, this guy, Sal Frosto, saying, you know, please release the air cut. And here's AT&T, which is Warner Brothers' parent company. This is a gif here. I don't know if it's, yeah, it's not going to play, but of Harley Quinn. This is where she's like pff, blowing up her bangs. Meaning like, hey, like maybe we're excited about releasing the David Ayer Suicide Squad cut. It would kind of make sense if they're trying to bring back the Snyderverse together and they're going to, you know, have the Man of Steel, Batman versus Superman, the ultimate cut in this brand new Snyder cut of Justice League to also maybe put together some of the story from Suicide Squad that was excised and bring it back together for a new David Ayer cut. Um, this article, which I will put in the description, also goes through a list of stuff that was cut out, um, from a Redditor named Nye Dog, Nay Dog, Nay Dog, because if you're going to believe anyone, it's going to be uh, a guy from Twitter saying Nay Dog, that's his, uh, handle. Anyways, um, this really goes into a lot of what was excised here from the movie, but it really just seems like really short cuts and stuff that was left out, not so expanding on uh, the Suicide Squad, Squad movie. So I would really be interested to see how an air cut differed from um, the actual thing that was put out. But him saying it was Edward Scissorhands really makes me believe that, you know, what we got was a lot different. And I would really love to see his cut as a big fan of Batman versus Superman. Don't mind me knocking my microphone there. And as a big fan of wanting to see this Zack Snyder's Justice League cut. So what do you think? Do you want to see the David Ayer cut of Suicide Squad? Let me know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. We can use the people. My name is Ryan from Yesterday's Entertainment Tomorrow. And we'll see you next time.